B2D NY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video you see what's going on here guys see what's going on airplane passing I have the top test PT520A and the top test PT520B rather it's an A plus don't make any mistakes this is the a plus not just the regular a guys this is the a plus <laughs> this is the b plus not the regular b's obviously there's a, there's a b and there's a b plus right this is the plus before we get into the video all right full disclosure um i did not purchase these with my own money okay top test i've sent these out to me free of charge free absolutely free for me to try them out test them out and do a review on them basically that's what I that was what I did and, and this is a video okay all right so I'm gonna start with the uh, with the a right the a if you have been following my channel you've seen that I've done a video on the p250a not the plus right the, at the last video I did it, I've done for tap test top test review was on was on a five uh, pt 520a all right so that was on the that was on the pt 250a now unfortunately today i was going to fire this carrier unit it's a carrier rooftop unit but it's the middle of summer ac is running no heat um i was going to uh, fire the uh furnace up and get some combust co exhaust to try these bad boys out on but unfortunately, the combustion motor in this thing is bad, so I can't I can't fire it up the heat. All I can use is some natural combustible gas right here, raw and unburnt, right? So we're gonna get some from right there. I'm gonna test these bad boys out. Now, in the future, when I get to get a chance or access to another eating furnace with combust CO exhaust, I'm gonna try these bad boys out. I think I know how this one already react, and I don't like it. This one here the B plus right if this one if this one is good with the combustible uh, gas exhaust or CO exhaust this is gonna be my favorite and I'm gonna do a short video on that so stay tuned yes yeah, so I'm gonna do a short video or I'm just gonna comment leave a comment in the comment section by myself regarding the result from the uh, of, of the test of the CO exhaust a combust combustible gas exhaust because you know in HVAC we're dealing with natural gas pretty much most likely, predominantly, especially in the Northeast, New York here. That's what, that's what we do. And we're dealing with the combust gas exhaust, all right? So, so back to it, the, in the box, obviously you got this little pouch, it's a semi-hard pouch, semi-hard case. And you got a device, you got the USB uh, charging cable. These are USB, I think these are, I'm not sure. These are the, the ones before the, I think these are C. Comment in the comment section, but you can see it right here, guys, what it is, okay? And that's for this device right here. So now, the difference between, so now the difference between the PT, PT520A and the A+, plus is this right here. That's all. So you can go watch the previous video on the PT, uh, PT520A, and I'll leave a link in, 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 in the description, so you're going to watch it same thing nothing nothing same exact thing we'll turn it on right here and um let it warm up take some time to warm up but i must say that um i find this the, the contrast is a bit shady like in the sunlight you can see like it's really really faded right there you know like in out of the sunlight it's not too bad but outside outdoor the contrast is really bad it's poor if you're using this indoor you're good to go outdoor not so good so you can see what we got right here Right? If I put it in the sunlight, filter it to the sun, it's almost like no show, right? No view. Okay? So it's warming up. Again, it's the same exact thing as the PT520, except the charge it rechargeable battery. Alright, so it's ready to go. And it's like I said, the the the, 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 the the contrast is really poor. Now also in the in the pouch you have some uh, some manuals. Again, we, we don't need to get into that, but yeah, there's some manuals. English, multiple languages, 
this device is pretty straightforward. You have the on and off button. You have the low, medium, high sensitivity. As you press them, it changes on the screen. If you can see, the contrast is poor. It's medium and it's low, medium, high. There you go. You have the silencer, beep or no beep, okay? And then you have the auto power off APO button, that's it. Now let's go ahead and give it a try here. Some natural gas. But there's nothing. Ah. You can see the contrast is really it's pretty good in the shades. Right? And that's in the high sensitivity. Let's go to the low sensitivity and see what we got. Put it right there. And there you go. If I turn off. So if I turn off the uh, the beep, let's see, you get the visual, but no beep. That's it. All right. If you're interested in finding this, guys, this is on. You can find this on Amazon.com. Amazon, you know the, the, the website that sells stuff. Amazon, and you can find it at uh, Top Test of their own website as www.toptesttools.com. Again, that's www.toptesttools.com. All right, let's go into the good stuff because this is my, this is, I really like this one. I like this one. So with the, with the uh, B, PT520B Plus, yeah, of course you got the manual, you got the, 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 it's the USB charging cable, and it's the same as that one over there, same exact thing. Okay, same thing. All right, and then the device. Now here are some specifications. If you are interested in that. Now both of these devices here, they are able to sense up to 10,000 PPM, okay? This one has more features, the B plus has more features, but this one is able to uh, measure up to 10,000 PPM as well, okay? Now, manuals aside, I'm gonna power this one up, and you're gonna know the difference right away. First of all, the contrast is better. You gotta hold this button. All right. And initially, when you power it up, is when it shows you the battery status. But you can see what's going on right here, guys. You have some number. It's counting down. It takes about 30 seconds to warm up. All right. It takes about 30 seconds to warm up the sensor. And right away, you can see this is a better contrast, right? Like I can see it. Like even in the sun, I tilt it towards the sun. It's better. If I go a little bit under the shade, it's really clear. If I tilt it forward down like so, it's really good. All right, so we're almost ready. Ready to go. All right, so this one here, you got a couple of buttons here. You got the sensing level. Like it's one button for to switch in between low, medium. Actually, this doesn't have medium, just low. And high, low, and high. Same button. This button here, this little number readout right here, um, it has a percentage value. I guess percentage. I don't know percentage of what. But the cool part is it shows you PPM as well. If you click on it, it shows the PPM. Right. This is pretty cool. I mean, I like this one. Um, if this is going to be good with the CO exhaust, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a shot in it. I'm gonna say yo, this is like this is this is the good one. This is the one for me. Alright, so that's that. Um and it also has a temperature sensor on there, which is pretty cool again, guys. Right? This is it's pretty cool stuff. Like, like check this out, right? If I press that button right there, right? This screen changes into temperatures. So we're at 30 degrees C right now. Which is Eighty-six degrees Fahrenheit. Let me go on top of the. Let me go on top of the condenser discharge. It's supposed to get hotter right away because it's hotter than that. Why isn't it go? Where's the sensor? Is it on the device or in the probe? Yeah, so I don't know if this is a good temperature sensor, but it's still a cool feature. All right, it's a good thermometer to use. It's still a cool feature. All right, so let's go on to some testing. What is this made for? Combustible gas testing. Um, here you also have the zero button, and that only works when you're in the uh, 
when you're in a CO mode, CO mode, how do you get out of this mode? How do I get back from temperature to... Okay, just simply press, press the uh, PPM slash percentage, this button right here, level. And we're back to, back to combustible gas sensing mode. All right, there's a zero button right here. If you hit that button, it will auto zero quicker than normal. Does that make any sense? Okay, let's go right now. Let's go some testing right now. We are in um, eye sensitivity. Let's go down there. Hit that. So it's showing you. Let's go to a. Uh, okay. I don't know the percentage is percentage of what? I guess air? Air percentage to combustible gas? That's 20% or greater than greater than 20%. And this you see is like it's above 10, it's like greater than 9999. Alright? So let's get away from there. So you can see it's taking a little it's taking a bit to clear. It's still, even though I'm away from the, the source, it's still holding for a little bit. Alright? But you're gonna fix that by pressing this button right here where it's gonna make zero quickly. You press that button right there, you're gonna see now. Let's go back to the same test. Uh, it's not like super quicker, but it's somewhat quicker, you know. Click it again. Uh, it's somewhat quicker. If I press the zero off, you can see if we go back up a little bit. That's what the zero function does, and that's it, guys. That's it. That's it. faster all right so that's it guys again this is on amazon.com uh top www.toptesttools.com um if you want to buy these things they're there um that's that um like i said this one here i actually i rather like this one here with the, with the actually ppm uh reads out this one here obviously costs more money than this one here um yeah i'll be doing a short i'm leaving a, a comment on this comment on this video regarding the co exhaust and before I close this video off, if you are here till the end, you're special. You're very, very, very special. Okay? So, you know, in lieu of making uh, um, uh, these videos, uh, reviews with these top test combustible gas detectors, I have quite a few of these in my arsenal. All right? I'm over doing, doing a giveaway. I know there's one guy, I think he lives in Oklahoma. If you're watching, uh, hit me up again, um, hit me up on my email. I resend me your address because I got I, I have I have one device to give to give to you that I promise. I've just been so busy, um, I, and you can see I still didn't forget you, right? So I'm I'm, I'm I'm talking about you in this video right here. So don't so don't don't, don't bash me, man. Go easy, go easy. Comment, resend me your address uh, in the email. I have the, I, I'm still holding that one device for you, and um, I have quite a few of these. I can do some giveaways, right? So you guys just comment, uh, tell me. Um, if you think why you think I should give you one of these, you know what I mean if you're if you're a good subscriber, I mean I have two of these. I have two of these. And I think that definitely I feel like I really am gonna be all in one of this. I'm gonna keep in one of this, right? Like it's this is kinda like this one already. Alright? So yeah, I'm gonna close this video off guys. I'm out.